has got it, you can see it's four wheels. Uh, they're softly inflated so they can go over things. It's also got two articulator arms, and these arms move up and down. So it gives it more stability. Uh, we use this to climb stairs. I can also reach, if there's a, a package that's a little bit higher, I can try and reach it by uh, putting these down or lifting it up. So before we start our shift or before we go to a call, we make sure that all this uh, is working. The last approach we want to make to a package, if it's a, a bomb, is to go in a suit, which means again that I have to go up close and personal to it. I'd rather send the robot down. Some of the other things that we have on it, uh, we have four or three cameras on it. One's on a mast that you can see there. And I can lift that so that I can get and look over fences. And the camera actually spins right around. There's another camera right by the claw. And you can see the little hand, that's the wrist. The claw rotates. I'm uh, able to open doors with this thing. It's got a very light touch. There's its elbow and its shoulder. Nice thing about this is that I can move two of the joints at one time. It's like playing a little game. And can anybody tell me what those two things are on the end there, right beside the cloth? In the red t-shirt. Um, guns? Yes. Very expensive water guns. All right. The actual, I'll take that. The actual terminology for it is a disruptor. And what happens is if there's a package there with an explosive, we fill this with water and we fire the water into the package, okay, and we disrupt the package that way. Um, most packages or bombs are going to have some sort of electronics in them to initiate, and the water will break it apart before the electricity gets through, so we use that. That, however, is extremely dangerous, the water that comes out of here, it can, it's like a gun. It's, it's a very expensive water gun, but it's like a gun that can kill you, so you have to be very careful. Uh, the bomb squad itself gets about 120 calls a year in Toronto out of which maybe 98% are fake, all right? Just somebody left a package on the TTC or something, and the other part are real bombs that we find in the city. And the, t the unit itself, the SWAT team, we also use these as well. Uh, so far, we're up almost 800 calls this year for the city of Toronto. Yeah, we've got two batteries, one that controls its functions, and the other one that just controls the drive. Actually, driving it expends a lot of energy. So the two separate batteries are for those two functions themselves. Some of the guys, what they do is we'll set up a little test for ourselves with a lock, and we'll have to put a key in it, into the lock. Uh, it's just training that helps you get a little bit better and tighter with the robot. Uh, this one is very good because it's very um, easy to manipulate things. It's got a fine touch. We've used it a couple times. Uh, if somebody's been shot and they're still conscious, what we'll do is we'll open up that claw, they can grab onto the claw and we'll drag them out of there. If they're unconscious, then we'll be able to grab on. What we can do is if the team can somehow get a blanket to them, roll them onto it, they can back off and then we can send the robot in to pull the person out. Okay? Or, if the person's unconscious and really bad, we'll just grab that person. The claw's gonna hurt a little bit, but if they've already been hurt badly, it really won't matter, will it? <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to lower the articulators just to be a little bit more stable. There's one camera that I just switched, and there's that mass camera. The main camera that I'm looking through right now is just at the back there. This is the mast, and as I rotate it now, we can see people in the crowd there. 
Okay, and what this helps me do, there's my, uh, there's my victim. It gives me a separate perspective on what I can see. 